Hi, George here. And today we'll be removing this background here and replacing it with a different background. Let me just show you the finish up here. Just like that, just a better looking background for the picture. Easy, straightforward project. Now I'll be including a step-by-step -step on how this whole project here is done inside of my new Photoshop Elements Coach. If you have that program, it'll be in the step-by-step -step guides section. Just do a search for the name of this video and you'll find it right there. And I'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Now, the first thing we need to do is to get our two images. It's so one here with a dog and a second one is our background image. I got both of these from the Pixabay website. Let me bring that up. Here we go, here's the link for the first one. I'll put this link in the description as well so you can get right here from that link. We'll start off here, just save this. We wanna download this and the size we're using is the 1920 by 1275. And then download this to someplace on your computer where it's easy to find. And I'll put this in my projects folder right here. Nothing special, I just made a new folder, named it Projects, and I'm putting some files in here as I'm working on things. Choose Save, that's done. Let's go do the same thing for this one. Download, make sure on that 1920 by 1080. A little bit different, it's not quite as tall, but this is fine. Choose Download, same location, choose Save, and there's our two files. I'll just close these things out here. We're done with all this stuff right now. I'm not gonna save that one. And let's first start off by opening up that dog picture. File Open. Find your working folder and get that dog picture. Choose open. There we go. Mine comes in as a floating window. It doesn't matter in this project, so I'll just dock that one. Let's now bring the second file in here. File open. There it is. Choose open. Again, I'll just dock that. Then go back here to the dog picture and come down to the photo bin at the bottom down there, bottom left, and then grab the background picture and just drag it over here. And that just gets it inside of this file. And we can then close down that image. So I have just that one working file now open and I'll hide that. Now just as a safety, I like to make a duplicate copy of the background layer. So right click on the name and choose duplicate layer, choose okay, and then hide that one. That's just a safety in case we miss anything up. I don't think we will, but might as well go ahead. Now we need to have the landscape picture underneath the background copy. So just drag it under like this. And now we're all set. One last thing to do in here if you want to at this point is we can just make this picture a little bit bigger. You can either stretch it like this, make it taller that way, or just grab the corners and pull it out until it's big enough to fill the screen area. That's what I'll do here. A little larger, hit that check mark, and that's set. Okay, we'll hide that one. We'll come back to the dog. We're now set for the main part of this, and that's making this layer mask in here to hide the background and show our new background in behind. And for this, I'll just be using the standard lasso tool right here, just a basic lasso. Make sure this is set on new. I'll leave the feathering at zero pixels on this one. Sometimes I'll use one, sometimes I'll use zero. It really depends. I kind of feel like zero pixels on this. And I start over here, left-hand side someplace, and then make a selection just outside of the dog. Don't put it on the dog itself, just outside. If you happen to bump into the dog like that, that's okay, not that big of an issue. And just work your way around. And in here, now this is gonna take some cleanup afterwards, but this is our first basic step. And then around the bottom, and then let's come in and get this figure over here on the right-hand side. This doesn't need to be precise. As you can see, I'm kind of sloppy on this. It's all that matters in here, just get that selection around here and we'll be okay. And background outside, back close to the beginning and that should finish that off. So here's our first basic selection. Now it's gonna mess up along here because the bottom of the dog's chin and neck is almost the same color as the background. I'll have to fix that. There's some holes in here. We're gonna have to cut into those holes. A lot of things will need fixing. So we'll start the process by going to the Refine Edge tool. And I like using this with the overlay because you're kind of that reddish pink overlay in here. Makes it really easy to see. And you can see my brush size right there. For this image, brush size is fine. You can change that there right down here where it says 35, little slider control. Make it whatever brush size you like, but this is a pretty good size. I like having it about twice the size of the space in there between the mask and the subject. I'll leave all this stuff alone. Most of the time, this stuff doesn't really help you that much. Things like feathering is gonna make your edge softer. And it's actually gonna give you a worse selection. Same thing with smoothing will give you a worse selection. Contrast sometimes helps, but not always. So I'll leave all that just as is. And then down here, we'll start off by having this set for output to selection. We'll be going back and forth a couple of times. Okay, now come in here and then just begin brushing right along that edge. 
just like this, just little short sections like that. Give it a beat and then let Photoshop Elements come in and do its figuring and just work along the edge. And we're going to be doing this for the whole edge that we've made in here. So just kind of work around, take your time. It's always a good idea when you're doing this kind of work to make sure you're not rushing anything. If you rush it, it's going to get messed up. So take your time, do a good job, and it'll all come out perfect. Okay, I'll just finish up around here. And then we have the other side down here to get. I can already see where it's kind of messing up on some spots. So we'll fix that. There are a few things to fix as we go, and I'll show you a couple of different techniques to use to make this as perfect as possible. Okay, down along the chin here for the dog, around his collar area over here, and just like that. Now notice that we got some red sticking in here, kind of come into this, whatever this thing is, and some red right in here, a little red right in here. We need to fix all of that. That's where the mask is coming in too far. So for that, switch to this tool, erase your from this tool, and then brush right along that edge on the inside and we're basically painting out the layer mask at that point. And that'll give us our harder edge and solve that problem. There we go. That's good. And then right along the edge in here. And that's all we need. And a bit right there, just spotted right in there and right there. So another nice thing about using this pink is you can look for where pink is going into your image and that shows you where your mask is in the wrong place. Let's now output this to a selection, choose OK. And here's our selection. And we can now see where it needs more cleanup. We missed that spot in here, spot in here. Didn't do well over here. A little bit right down here and a little bit along the chin up here. And a lot of things to fix right down there. So for this, I'll switch tools. I'll change to the polygonal lasso to my personal favorite. And then going to zoom in on this location. Now I have my scroll wheel set on the mouse to zoom like that. I just roll the scroll wheel. If you have a wheel on your mouse, this is easy to set up. That's up here under Edit, come down to Preferences, and then come into General. And it's right here, Zoom with Scroll Wheel. It's that checkbox. Choose OK. You can then do that. We're now going to remove this section from our selection. This is our selection. We want to remove that bit. So come down. Let's set this at Subtract. And then starting outside here, just make another little mini selection. Now with this tool, make sure you click and then give it a beat before you click a second time. If you click too fast, it's gonna collapse your selection. We don't want that. And then all you do is you place in dots and then Photoshop Elements goes in and connects those dots with little short lines. And that gives you your selection, or in this case, be using this to remove from the selection. Right here, come outside, back near your beginning, double click, and there we go. That all looks good. Hold the space bar down, and you can then move your image with a hand, look over the space bar, and you're back to your tool. Do the same thing in here. I'm just going to remove this little section, and go up and around, there we go. Again, with this tool, just take your time. This is where I, I kind of think of just a zen approach. Relax, be meditative about this, don't rush it, and you get a perfect selection. If you rush, you're going to collapse your selection. Back to the beginning, double click. There we go. Okay, I'm now going to pause the video and I'll finish this step off, but I'll fix this bit here. I'll fix this bit right in here. I'll fix this bit right up in here and down here. That all looks pretty good. Maybe I'll clean it up right down here and I'll fix it over here. Let me show you one quick thing. We've been removing stuff we don't want. Let me bring some stuff back in again, this little section here. All that is is just changing to the Add button, the Add version, and then come along that edge, and then come inside your selection, double click, and that adds it. So use either the Subtract or the Add, depending upon what you need to fix. And the last thing I'll be touching on over here is all this stuff in here. I need to remove all these intersections in here, all that stuff. So it'll take me a few minutes to come in and clean all that stuff out. That's the main reason why I'm not going to be doing this on camera. It's a little boring watching me do stuff like that. So that's the next step. I'll turn the video off just for a couple of minutes. I'll clean out those other sections using the same technique we did up here. And then I'll bring the video right back up again. 
All right, there we go. I fixed all those little spots up in here, around here, all that miscellaneous stuff right around the dog collar right down here. And also a little bit right back at the back of the dog collar that needed fixing as well. So that's all good. Let's just zoom back out a little bit. So there's our basic selection. And before we put in that new background in here, put in that layer mask, just want to remind you that I'll be adding this whole project as a step-by-step -step guide. And I'll put a link for that right down below. Let's take a real fast look at that. And I'll show you where you'll find that. Here we are in the new membership site. And over here where it says resources, right-hand side, step-by-step -step guides right here or right down below. I also have it repeated right down here. As soon as I finish the video, I'll write that step-by-step -step guide and I'll put it right in here. And then just look for it based upon the name of the video. I haven't decided on the name of the video yet, but you'll know it already because it'll be there when you find this video, just look for that alphabetically and you'll then find my step-by-step -step guide. Let's take a fast look at what it will look like. It'll be just like this. And then you click on the link. This will then bring up that guide in here step-by-step -step, as a downloadable or printable PDF file. Okay, let's go back to the project. We can now convert this into a layer mask by clicking on the button right there. That's your layer mask button. Click on that. What that does is it then uses that selection to create the layer mask and it hides everything that we don't want to see. And notice in the layer mask, we have white. That's where we're seeing stuff. We have black. That's where we're not seeing stuff. So black hides and white shows. Let's now bring our background picture in just to show that layer. Looks really good. But I want to have this background layer a little bit out of focus. So for that, let's come down to that layer. Click on the layer right here. Now notice that this is a smart object layer because we dragged it in, that little icon right there. We need to have this not a smart object layer, but I don't want to be messing up with this actual image. I guess I want to come back and fix it. So let's right click on the name, choose duplicate layer, choose OK, hide that original, and we'll now adjust this one in here. Now I need to get rid of the smart object, so right click, simplify a layer, and we can now edit this thing. OK, go up here to filter, come down to blur, and the Gaussian blur. It'll look like this when you first start off. Just begin pulling this over to the right a little bit until it has the amount of blur that you like. For me, I think around 11. I got 11.8, actually. I think that looks pretty good. Blurry enough so you can see what it is. You can tell it's a mountain back there, but it's not getting in the way of the focus of your picture, which is this foreground bit. Choose OK, and there we go. Don't forget to take a look at my new Photoshop Elements Coach program. I'll put a link for that right down there in the description. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'm doing new videos all the time. Great place to come here and learn how to use Photoshop Elements. And I'll see you next time.